right. So for the next um, stuff we'll be looking at, uh, we get to look at the Potter sequence. So some of you guys will be confused, all right, because the Potter sequence actually has a lot of names. So coming here, you could get to see that uh, the Potter sequence is also known as Potter syndrome. It is also known as what oligohydramnios sequence. Okay. So going on that causes, um, symptoms, diagnosis, management, and all of that. So this Potter sequence or Potter syndrome or oligohydramnios sequence is a rare condition that affects what fetal development, and this is due to what a significant reduction in amniotic fluid. You know, the amniotic fluid is nice, okay, for the fetus to be held away from tension and all of that. So there's reduction in the um, normal amount that amniotic fluid is supposed to be at, then that's where you'll be having what? A Potter sequence or a Potter syndrome. So what are the causes? It could be bilateral renal agenesis, okay? That's the most common cause where both kidneys are failing to develop, okay? And it's fatal. Right, the individual usually usually die. Okay, there it could be due to obstructive uropathy where there's blockage in the urinary tract, and this will prevent what urine flow. It could be polycystic what kidney disease, where it's basically a genetic disorder which will cause what cysts in the kidney. It could be amniotic fluid leakage. All right, now it's early rupture of the amniotic sac, and this will lead to what fluid loss. Okay. So symptoms is there's potter facies, all right, where there's a characteristic flat nose, you can see here, a broad nasal bridge, okay, okay, and there's lower set of ears, right, there's wrinkled skin, all right, and this is due to what, amniotic fluid, due to lack of amniotic fluid cushioning, I told you guys that the amniotic fluid basically protect the embryo from tension, okay, there's pulmonary hypoplasia, the lungs, are underdeveloped, okay? As club feet. So diagnosis is usually with ultrasound MRI. Management is um, close monitoring and potential early delivery if necessary, okay? Postnatal care is you are just managing the symptoms, okay? Which could be respiratory symptoms or other complications, right? So that's the basis for this Potter sequence or Potter syndrome or oligohydramnios sequence.